Hey folks, today we're taking a look at a new MIDI chord generating app called Cordable made by Audio Kit contributor Matt Pfeiffer and Seiji. It's currently available free on Mac OS and possibly for iOS at some point in the future. The app is designed to sit between a MIDI controller and your DAW transforming single notes into complex chords. In this video, we'll demo some presets, make a quick Neo Soul Jam, and I'll give you some of my thoughts on the app as a developer. Let's get started. So this is Cordable. I have an Arturia MIDI keyboard plugged into my Mac, and Cordable is turning my key presses into chords and logic. Here are some of the free presets that come with the app. There are many tutorials on getting started on the Polyrhythm page, but basically in Logic, if the instrument isn't set up automatically, you can change that in the MIDI settings submenu. Also in Cordable, you can toggle the app off to jump back to regular MIDI control. All right, so now we'll get started working on our chord progression. You can stick with the default chords, but I wanna switch things up a little bit. Here I'll change the five chord to being a major triad in the high voicing. Rather than this being a minor 7th chord, I'm going to change it to a dominant 7th. And I'll do the same to our E chord. Now that we have our chords, we can start building out our track. For something more rhythmic and syncopated, we can decrease the strum time. Now if you want to save this as a preset for later, you'll need the Cordable Pro IAP subscription, but as a free user, the alternative is to go ahead and record your performance. And this is what I'm playing with Cordable Bypass. Finally, we'll add some bass and our little Neo Funk Jam is complete. Portable is made by Polyrhythm, a development team of Matt Pfeiffer and Seiji. Matt's an audio kit contributor and has authored some other open source projects on his GitHub. If you like the knobs in Cordable, well, here they are and you can have them for free. He also made this sweet audio visualizer, which I'm currently using in my app, and you can also see it in action in the audio kit cookbook. Speaking of visualizers, I love this one that they made for Cordable. The entire UI feels clean and approachable. An app like this is mainly intended for people that want to make music, but might not have the music theory side down yet. I think it could be a really useful tool for musicians that want to make music while learning about music theory in an applied way. Now let's talk a little bit about the price. The app comes with 10 free presets and there are more available through IAP plus the ability to save your new presets. They went with a subscription model, which we're seeing more of in apps these days. As a matter of fact, it was just announced that Logic Pro is coming to the iPad for a $5 monthly subscription fee. That's a far cry from the $200 amount for Logic on Mac OS. Loopy Pro is an Another app that has a subscription model, I think we'll see more of these in the future, but if subscriptions aren't your thing, they do still give away a large slice of the app for free. What do you all think about the subscription model for music apps rather than paying in one large lump sum? Let me know down in the comments, and while you're down there, 
And that's it. Hopefully this app inspires some new musical explorations. Even if it's only to use the free version, I definitely think this app is worth checking out. Congratulations to Matt and Seiji on launching their first app with Polyrhythm. I'll have links to everything below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.